Seeing this vehicle in the flesh is the only true way to fully experience it. Velar is a fresh addition to the Range Rover pillar, filling that white space between Evoque and Range Rover Sport. For sure, the competition out there is fierce, but its futuristic design will play a pivotal role in challenging the German brands like BMW X4, the Porsche Macan, and Audi's Q6. The SUV segment of the automotive market is forecast to grow 30% by 2020. As the definitive SUV brand, Land Rover aims to triple its volume and double its market share in that time frame. Velar is forecast to bring substantial additional volume to the Land Rover brand. Velar is targeted at the emerging and fast-growing premium medium SUV segment, which has recently seen the arrival of new products with the Porsche Macan and the BMW X4, all confirming the trend for more compact, more efficient SUVs. The US market is and remains the largest SUV market in the world. Velar represents a golden opportunity to leverage sales within this exciting market. These are indeed exciting times ahead. So let's explore Velar together in more detail. What strikes me immediately, and I'm sure it will with your customers, is the sleek, simplified design of the Range Rover Velar. Every line and surface looks purposeful, agile, yet sophisticated. Now it's based on Jaguar Land Rover's aluminum architecture, which it shares with the Jaguar F-Pace. Velar is positioned as the most on-road focused Range Rover yet, while still achieving pretty outstanding off-road capability. It's available in several derivatives, S, R-Dynamic SE, and R-Dynamic HSE, with a first edition available at launch. The Velar comes with several powertrain options, in standard, or this, the R-Dynamic model. As you can see, it has a purposeful stance, and with those jewel-like burnished copper accents, hood vents, and side vents, it all adds greatly to its sophisticated, contemporary look and allure. Velar is without doubt a seductive proposition. Now, under the hood, there's a choice of three powertrains, from 180 to 380 horsepower. There's the two-liter i4 turbocharged diesel, the two-liter i4 gas version, along with this, the impressive three-liter V6 supercharged gas engine offering 380 horsepower all amounted to a ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, which constantly adapts shift schedules across the eight gears to provide the right gear at the right time for both improved performance and fuel economy. Now, the use of 100% LED lighting technology is a first for Range Rover. It enables a sleeker design graphic and provides an incredible amount of light to be produced from a very small source. LED lighter is closer to daylight, making night driving less tiring for the driver. Striking proportions delivered through a blend of car-like glass house with an SUV waistline. The Velar is unmistakably Range Rover. That characteristic floating roofline, the way the windscreen intersects the front axle, and that continuous waistline. You know, its simple form emphasizes the bold new design language that started by Velar that will begin the journey for the rest of the family. At 188.9 inches long, it's 17 inches longer than Evoque, but only two inches shy of Range Rover Sport. Height-wise, it's just one inch taller than Evoque. So for a customer, it's easy to see dimensionally where the Villar sits. The profile for me is a balance of sportiness and refinement. It says, capability with composure. Villar shares the same aluminum architecture found on the highly successful Jaguar F-Pace. It's stiff and strong, and that's the foundation for its all-terrain capability. Available as standard, our Dynamic HSE sits on 21-inch 10-spoke alloys, but customers can choose from 18 to 22-inch in eight distinctive designs. Customers should experience the theater of the flush, deployable door handles. They've been tested at extremely low temperatures, and they can punch through one-eighth of an inch of sheet ice. Now, the coefficient of drag of Villar is an extremely impressive 0.32, and the flush door handles help reduce the vehicle's drag, wind noise, and of course, fuel consumption. That distinctive and continuous waistline sweeps along the body size to the rear and then flows into the tail lights. Now, the rear spoiler is extremely effective, reducing air noise in the cabin and CO2 emissions. It also has a really cool design with the fundamental purpose of keeping the rear glass cleaner for longer. 
by using a kicking motion from either side, behind the rear wheels, allows for hands-free access to the trunk, which is a real benefit when you're struggling with luggage or shopping. Now, once inside, the clever versatility of this cargo space opens up from 34.4 cubic feet with the seats up to 70 cubic feet once the 40, 20, 40 rear seats have been folded flat. The easy loading operated here by this button in the trunk allows Velar to lower 1.9 inch below standard ride height. It can also be raised by 1.9 inch above standard ride height using the trailer hitch button here for towing. By combining design, technology and capability, the Range Rover Velar represents the most refined and capable medium SUV. It's an exciting time ahead, and within the SUV market, the Velar is perfectly placed to capitalize on the open space opportunity the segment represents. Your drive as retailers will play a key role in maximizing brand loyalty by providing and demonstrating a logical step for buyers looking to move up from the Evoque and by attracting new customers to the brand. Refinement remains the underlying product truth in all aspects of the Range Rover Velar, no more so than inside. As you step into Velar with the customer, the R-Dynamic styling continues on the tread plate. With them sat in the Sports Command driving position, the elevated view adds to their feeling of safety and security. Exquisite detailing, like the satin chrome gear shift paddles and this steering wheel with its chrome bezel, all feel exacting to the touch putting the customer at the heart of Velar. There is a range of seat material options, from perforated Windsor leather, to the eco-sustainable microfiber suede cloth, to woolen upholstery. Driver's seat with 20-way positioning and memory, massage, and climate functionality enhance the customer experience. The pared down exterior styling continues throughout the interior. Terrain response buttons and other functions are now touchscreen operations, part of the sleek Touch Pro Duo with its upper and lower screen. Interior lighting gives customers a feeling of comfort, convenience, and style. Material choice for the customer continues with trim and veneer finishes in options such as copper weave carbon fiber, argento pinstripe, shadow aluminum, or satin charcoal. There's convenient features like twin sliding armrests with deep storage beneath, and the panoramic sunroof floods the Velar with light. The interior cabin is a quiet haven of refined relaxation. Working seamlessly with the Touch Pro Duo, the capacitive steering wheel controls really does put the driver at the center of operation. It has these very clever hidden to lit switches. The controls are configurable, allowing the customer to preset a functional task to the button right here, like home destination, or in my case, probably would be my favorite phone contact. Now, the thumb wheel is a very intuitive and simple way to adjust the volume, menus, and navigation settings. The 12.3 inch interactive driver display, which is operational through the steering wheel, really does allow the customer to pick their favorite settings and display it right up here on the screen. As you can see, for me, it's the full navigational map. Now, the head up display is an option that really does present key vehicle data, such as speed, gear position, and navigation right up here in your line of sight on the windshield. This in combination with the interactive driver display and the upper and lower Touch Pro Duo system offers the driver great scope and options for receiving information and being in touch and control safely and effortlessly. It's really important to communicate to the customers that Range Rover Velar is the most connected Land Rover to date. Land Rover in Control is a suite of standard and optional features that really connects the customer to their vehicle and seamlessly with the outside world. It features technologies such as the In Control remote smartphone app. It's an app that provides upgraded information on Velar and enables you to interact with it remotely. Pretty useful. It includes features like optimized Land Rover assistance, which transmits diagnostic data and your location in the event of a breakdown. The system also includes functions like lock and unlock doors, remote preheating and cool cabin, and find your car using beep and flash. 
The In Control apps allows vehicle optimized apps on a customer's smartphone to be controlled through the touch screen. There's also 4G Wi-Fi hotspot capability. There is a range of pro services which offers a host of invaluable assistance like real-time traffic flow, fuel price service, parking service, online search, and many more. As part of In Control Protect, stolen vehicle locator can be used to track and recover a vehicle if it's stolen. Very reassuring for the customer. There's also two power socket packs with up to four 12 volt sockets and four USB ports. And if rear entertainment is taken as an option, then this offers two further USB ports and two HDMI inputs. All in all, the Velar offers the customer a truly comprehensive, efficient suite of live information, connecting them to their vehicle and then onwards to the world outside. As part of Land Rover In Control Technologies, the Touch Pro Duo utilizes two highly responsive 10-inch high-definition touchscreens. It allows the customer to both view and interact with multiple features at once. It's Jaguar Land Rover's next-generation In Control hub, connecting the customer with the Velar and connecting them with the outside world. For added comfort, the screen is tilt-adjustable, allowing the driver to adjust it to the exact viewing preference. The upper screen is where the majority of the main features are controlled from. Navigation, media, phone, cameras, parking, system settings, and all of the extra features and apps. The home screen layout, which is customizable, consists of three panels, navigation, media, and phone. These panels provide the user with useful information on the state of the system, such as arrival time, now playing media, etc. There's a useful side panel that contains a subset of the functionality of the main features. Media gives the user access to all of the content connected to the vehicle, such as radio, Bluetooth, and USB. Depending on the source, they're able to play, pause, skip, shuffle, and repeat. When browsing the media libraries, multiple display options are available. The system provides the user with a full screen navigation map. Full screen is also useful in the parking modes to see what's around the vehicle or by having a junction view and map side by side. Other features include 2D and 3D maps, dead reckoning for more accurate navigation, map updates, commuter routes, and real-time traffic information. The lower screen area consists of a header, main feature area, rotaries, and permanent soft keys. The header contains all of the shortcuts for the lower screen features, climate controls, climate and massage seats, widgets, terrain response, driver modes, and settings. The rotaries are multifunctional depending on the main feature, and they also work independently. The new design of the Touch Pro Duo allows for both the driver and the passenger to simultaneously and independently control the distribution and temperature of the climate system, and where fitted, the seats. Cabin temperature is controlled with the rotaries. This provides an intuitive, tactile way for the customer to adjust settings. The vehicle setting controls are now located in the lower screen, replacing all that physical switch gear. They give the driver easy access to all of the features that control the behavior of the vehicle. The terrain response controls take up the central part of the screen, with other features such as start-stop, ATPC, and air suspension are located down the sides of the screen. Widgets can be accessed by swiping down on the lower screen header. They provide a subset of some of the main features from the upper screen, designed to give quick and easy access to some frequently used features, keeping the upper screen clean. The phone widget is a useful subset of features for making and receiving calls simply and flexibly. Equally, there's a media widget. This is supported by leading edge voice recognition with single step commands for easier control. Touch Pro Duo is built around a sensitive multi-touch screen, which provides superior responsiveness and support for gestures, such as swipe for flicking between home screens or smoothly and easily directly navigating maps through panning and pinching to zoom. These direct interactions allow significantly less involvement, not just being potentially safer, but far more fluid and pleasant to experience in daily use. Velar has a host of technologies that give it supreme capability across multiple terrains. Firstly, there's all-wheel drive with intelligent driveline dynamics, ensuring improved traction and fuel efficiency in various road and weather conditions. Adaptive dynamics, 
the optional configurable dynamics allows customers to configure vehicle's characteristics like suspension, steering settings, etc., to suit their individual driving needs. Now, Land Rover's terrain response with its six settings has the addition of auto mode through terrain response too, which seamlessly senses the road surface and selects the best setting for the customer. The optional active rear locking differential ensures the greatest level of traction in various weather conditions, both on and off road. Composure is further enhanced by the latest electronic air suspension available as standard on this V6 version. These performance and all-terrain features underpin the incredible capabilities of the Velar, setting it aside from the competition, so it's very important to outline these benefits to your customers. For more information on these and other features and benefits, please search on the Jaguar Land Rover Source app. I'm heading to a favorite driving area of mine to really see what the Range Rover Velar has to offer. The roads here are pretty windy and involved, so before I left home, I configured the navigation map to be displayed both on the head-up display and on the interactive drive display, so I don't have to take my eyes off the road. Things like that are just really well thought out. And as I head through the countryside, I love the clear information right here in front of me. Really bright, clear displays, both on the optional head-up display and on the interactive driver display. What's neat is that I have the choice, especially when my drive is more involved and I want everything displayed right here. It's also very flexible and customizable. It all combines for a full multi-screen experience. All the information is just so clear and easily accessible. Perfect. Wow. There's no hiding my enthusiasm for the way the Range Rover Velar handles these twisty corners. It's quite superb. Land Rovers say their all-wheel drive system can react faster than the blink of a human eye, which, if you don't know how long that is, is about 100 to 150 milliseconds. And as I maneuver the car through these very demanding corners, I can really feel all that technology in action. The Velar is just so responsive. All-wheel drive with the intelligent driving dynamics is continually optimizing the engine torque distribution to the front and the rear wheels, ensuring enhanced traction and fuel efficiency in the various road and weather conditions. I feel very confident in the company of this vehicle. Now, after 25 years of racing, my hands have got pretty sensitive to the feel through a steering wheel, and I must say that the electric power-assisted steering is exceptionally connected. And what makes it even better is I can personalize it through the configurable dynamics menu here. Torque vectoring by braking assists my cornering as I accelerate out, heavy acceleration, and it really does minimize the understeer and gives me the feeling of incredible control. Lovely crisp turn into this tight hairpin. And as I accelerate out, just great balance through this faster sweeping corner. The steering is so precise and intuitive without compromise. Land Rover's know-how when it comes to the systems developed for off-road driving have real benefit when it comes to the on-road experience. They cross over seamlessly, both mutually benefiting each other. The optional active rear locking differential, for instance, gives great stability and control around these fast corners. But I know it's a real asset when it comes to off-road driving, meaning the torque in certain situations could be applied 100% to the rear wheels. Here, it's probably more like a 50-50 split between front and rear, but it's constantly adapting at every moment through every corner. The double wishbone front and integral link rear suspension on the Range Rover Velar is giving me real confidence in the vehicle's stability on these stunning upland roads. So often when it comes to suspension setup and ride, it's a real compromise and it ends up being too stiff, but not here, it's very smooth and refined. The all-around air suspension feels very assured and those electronically controlled dampers work in combination to enhance my driving experience by intelligently adapting to my driving style. It's all rather clever, really. I think I'd like to take the Velar off-road now to see how the systems function in a different, tougher environment. I suspect the majority of Range Rover Velar owners will never take their vehicles seriously off-road, but actually there's no reason why not. 
It's in auto mode on the optional terrain response too, and it's effortlessly setting up the vehicle systems to optimize available traction. As I pull off the paved highway onto this gravel road, you can see how it's so sure-footed as it adapts to this new surface. Velar is a true Range Rover with all the same breadth of all-terrain capability. It has an impressive wading depth of 25.5 inches, great vehicle geometry, the optional all-terrain progress control, and on this, terrain response too. So like all Range Rover vehicles, it really has off-road capability at its core. Up ahead, there's a rocky track where the surface, let's just say, is a little more challenging than this gravel track. Velara, I'm sure, will cope easily in auto mode, but I'm just going to slip it into mud and ruts here. As I do that, the air suspension raises automatically to the off-road height. Here I go. Just going along this track, the vehicle geometry in these tricky situations is key. And with an approach angle of 29 degrees, with the air suspension fully raised, a departure angle of 30 degrees and a breakover angle of 24, Velar seems extremely capable in these rather tricky conditions. That active locking differential gives excellent traction to the rear wheels when the articulation is at its max. That's really impressive. Composed and assured gave me a lot of confidence. Let's head back to the road. I've really enjoyed my time driving and exploring in my new ride out in the countryside. But you know, those same capabilities such as suspension, handling, traction, they're equally relevant when it comes to the streets of a city like Charlotte here. Maneuvering through the streets and these varied urban driving conditions, the Range Rover Velar gives me so much confidence. And I think a big part of that is this Sports Command driving position, which gives me great visibility even in tight situations like this. And of course, that giant panoramic sunroof allows me as the driver tremendous light. But if I have passengers in the back, they just have the most spectacular view out of the roof. As you know, Driving can be stressful at the best of times, but I must say that this cabin environment is so refined and relaxing. It's a joy to glide through these streets in such composed luxury. I keep seeing glimpses of myself reflected in the windows of buildings as I pass by, and then the look of interest on pedestrians' faces as this new vehicle drives their streets and it just reminds me of how sleek and perfectly fitting and suitable the Velar is to any contemporary modern environment. Just stunning. 